How to analyze this guessing game? I sometimes play a guessing game with a friend. So FX we might try to guess how many people live in Russia. So person A says 100 million and then person B says either more or less. If B says more and in fact more than 100 million live in Russia, then B wins and conversely. Is this game fair? I have an intuition that B probably has an advantage, but I'm not sure how to formally analyze the situation. This is an interesting question. It would seem that the game is not fair. Player A is at a pretty serious disadvantage. We start with the simple situation where each player has a guess that they are 100% confident in, and these guesses are taken from the same probability distribution that is centered at the true value. We also assume each player has no information about the other player's beliefs. The optimal strategies are for player A to guess honestly and for B to respond honestly. Player A will win if their guess is between the true value and player B's guess. Since there is a 50-50 shot for either guess to be above or below the true value, 50% of the time the guesses will lie on either side of the true value and player B will win, regardless of whose guess is closer. Via symmetry, minus 25% of the time their guesses will be on the same side of the true value and player B's will be closer. Player B will also win here, deservedly. Minus 25% of the time their guesses will be on the same side of the true value and player A's will be closer. Here player A will win, deservedly. Hence, player A will win only one quarter of the time. I'm fairly certain we can generalize and allow each player to have their own distribution of beliefs without affecting the above result, provided that each player's distribution is similarly taken from a distribution centered at the true value, because each player will still guess according to the center of their own distribution. However the game also becomes increasingly complicated once you allow each player to have first order beliefs about the other player's beliefs, because then there's the opportunity for say, a to exploit their belief that B's guess is below the true value by guessing slightly lower than they would otherwise. And with second order beliefs things get even more complex, and so on and so on. I'm not sure whether player A's disadvantage is robust to these nuances, but it's still quite striking to me that a game that at first glance seems fair is actually under normal conditions pretty lopsided.